He was a bashful person. He wasn't this outgoing guy, but he had he had a, a, a he had a touch, a certain touch that that uh, that uh, connected with people. Had that connection. Yudi was more to me than just a son-in-law. He was my chava. He is missed by all of us for his good middles, for his good things. He was someone who didn't just do outreach, it was in reach as well. It was, it was everybody, it was uh, whether, whether it was an almana down the block or, or, or somebody that needed help. If he was able to help somebody, it was, his, it was literally, it was, it was his covet to help somebody. In the house, I always used to hear my father Zatzal referring to him as Yehuda Ata Yeducha Achecha. And I kind of didn't really understand that until I got a little older and realized what he did. He really was that kind of brother. He understood us all. He understood our needs. He was someone who was rock solid in Amuna, rock solid in doing the appropriate, right things with Hiroshimaian, with tremendous hashkafa. He was the man, even though in his quiet way, he took charge. He took charge, in regardless, in anything. When there was something that had to be done, he took care of it. Always had a smile, always had a good word, and, and when he talked to you, you knew that you were the only person he was talking to who was very focused on you. What I learned to respect the Rabbi Schwab was that he, on the one hand, was a visionary, you know? He saw that what had to be done, what had to be done, but simultaneously he very much had his two feet on the ground. was giving me good wishes and he took my hand and he closed his eyes and he did it with such a depth of sincerity. It was like giving me a bracha. I mean, but he just reached up. I, I've never seen a person have that, that depth, that feeling. And I walked away. It was like a wow kind of an experience. When I had my yeshiva many years ago when I started, Rev. Yehuda went door to door collecting with me in Munsee. He had his own organization and we all know it. He had Jack. He went and he said a tefillah. He took his hand, brought it to his forehead, and said a tefillah that we should be matzliach in, in attaining a donation. He had an effect on people where they may have not known it at first, but over the years, you realize, wait, I'm from now because of Rabbi Schwab. Or all these people now are here because of Rabbi Schwab. My father's concept of Kirov was the Kirov of Ramon Avino. That concept was to have people join you. When he met people, he believed in that person. No matter what that person was, he saw past the outside picture. He saw the potential in every person. He could have been a very, very wealthy man in his own right as a businessman, and yet he devoted his life to Jep and serving the Jewish community. Jep was for sure his life. Jep, everything involved around Jep. No question about it. He was suffering unbearable terrible headaches and he was crying and he told me these tears that I'm crying is not for myself these tears are for a mutual friend that we both shared that also is sick I want these tears to be a schus to give him a refuah shalema even to this day you know I think of you know what should I do you know, I, I'll give Rabbi Huda a call <laughs> Rabbi Huda isn't here friends to him is deep. Friends to him is meaningful. Friends to him is everlasting. Because he was short in stature, but to me he was such a giant. This was Rav Yehuda. <laughs> Oh,
ברחמך.